guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about the latest news and deals on cryptocurrency, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is my personal opinion and not financial advice. Now today, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on icon valuation or evaluation. The price of icon today, right now, it's at $10.67 USD. BTC price around 67K Satoshi. Now, ever since or since the last video that I made on icon, I believe it was around two to three dollars. So from that point, it at least four X went four times the amount. Now that's only regarding USD because I believe uh, for BTC, it was uh, maybe maybe two to three X, not really sure. But when I talked about icon during that video, I think that was a great opportunity to purchase, get some and get some icon in your bag. Because as you can see, both USD and Satoshi levels are just keep on rising. But before I get in more of my thoughts, just be careful out there because icon is still an early project and it's been listed on Binance pretty recently. So prices might be volatile, but looking at the volume has a pretty significant volume of around 20 K of BTC. So the more volume a project has a more consistent volume a project has more, um, li more liquid it is. So it's easier to get in and get out. Uh, but as you see these kind of parabolic price increases, you always got to be careful because there is a chance that this could pull back maybe to $5 range, maybe there's $8 range. I don't know what the future holds for like uh, for icon, but there are there's a lot of optimism going on with icon it's spreading throughout social media. Uh, people are talking about it, YouTube influencers are talking about it. And their mainnet is launching in about when it's, it's launching on 24th. So in about 16 days or two and a half weeks or two weeks, two weeks and two days. So their mainnet launch is coming up real soon. I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for it because they have ways to secure the network through uh, different features such as CREP and they also have representatives and kind of like a dem democratic democratic feature. Also, they have a scoring system in which and which by securing the network and by uh, quote unquote freezing your ICX, you can um, tap into the 400 million that is locked away by them and they will kind of distribute to the ICX holders by kind of helping the network grow and stabilize. So I'm, re I'm really excited for that as well. Now, looking at the price, I have two sides, I have two opinions about the price. Now, looking at the big picture of Icon, I still believe Icon is undervalued. It's only at 4 billion right now, which I mean, which is a lot, but compared to like Ethereum, which is at around 120 billion, that's pretty much 30x. So if Icon were to reach Ethereum's level right now, that would be 30x from this price, which would be what, what, that would be $300. But I'm not saying that it's going to in the future. I don't have a crystal ball, but I, I have I have a lot of I, I just think Icon will have a big impact in the world, starting from South Korea and spreading to all the other cryptocurrency projects. It kind of works like ARC because ARC aims to kind of have that bridge and connect to all cryptocurrencies. But ICON is coming from a much better foundation because they're supported by immense companies, billion dollar companies, and they have already made partnerships and connections with universities, uh, hospitals, insurances, yeah, and they already made a vending machine that that is using one of their uh, projects. I, I believe it's called Ucoin. Um, 
that stands for like university coin in which university students can use that vending machine to trade in you coin for every essential item such as I think it's like water or like tissues or whatever. So they ha they already have impl implemented all these things and I think they're staying quiet for a reason because they don't want to make a lot of hypes. This is simply my opinion, but I think they want to get out the product first, make sure it's stabilized before releasing news. But that said, with mainnet launching and they also haven't been listed on any Korean exchange. Just imagine what will happen if Koreans get a hold of being able to buy Icon. I think, I mean, if you see other, all the other top cryptocurrencies, the Korean volume is usually like 30 to 40% at a more of an inflation. I think for Icon, they, they would probably buy at easily double the price of regular exchanges. Now, this is simply my opinion, but I think with a Koreans and kind of their national pride and wanting to get on this project that is supported by a Korean companies and just everything surrounding this and how this attempts to connect to all the other cryptocurrencies out there. I think once the Korean exchange is hit, that's gonna boom icon, whether a support or valuation, whatever that is. But something that I noticed recently in the crypto coin market cap is that they are excluding the Korean exchange prices because those become real outliers to the price. So it really skews the price. So by excluding the Korean prices, I believe a couple of the projects dropped heavily, like 10 to 20%. Uh, projects like EOS, Qtum, Bcash, those dropped within like instance. So at least on coin market cap, even if there's a huge demand on the Korean markets, it might not be reflected upon the price. But just know that there is a huge demand coming from Korea. This is simply my guess, but I think they're going to eat up those icon supplies. That said, um, yeah, so I'll be, at least for me, what I'm going to do at this price is wait for a pullback. I don't know if that's a good idea, but looking at these kinds of really crazy uh, run-ups, I, I really don't like to invest at the tops. But I might just dollar cost average into this as well. So we'll see, but I haven't reached that time yet. So yeah, that is it for today. I'm just glad that Icon is doing well, even with without a main net, not even been list. It's, it's only listed on like, like two or three exchanges. I don't really count gate or a cost, but like the major exchanges like OKX and Binance. I guess Huobi too, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I would, um, yeah, I, I really recommend this project to you guys. Uh, if you guys have time, just research it and learn it and just see how the market goes before uh, investing. But that's simply your decision to make, not mine. But that said, if you guys like this kind of content, like it, like this video, comment below and smash that subscribe button. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links below and I'd really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.